Welcome to today's video. Uh, tomorrow I'm about to drop the video how to uh, upgrade your old laptop for free without uh, changing the drive, like without buying the SSD, without upgrading the RAM or any of that stuff. If you don't want to open your laptop or you are unable to pay for the upgrades, today's video will teach you how to make the bootable USB drive for Zorin OS with Belina Etcher. All you need is a USB stick that's at least eight gigabytes of memory. And uh, first thing you do, you plug the USB in and you hear the clicking. Here we go. We don't need to format this in this case. We go now to Belina Etcher. First line of action is to download Belina Etcher. I will leave a link for the site on the description. And right here, you choose which one you want to uh, take for your computer. Most of the time, it will say automatically will detect what you have. 86 and 64, which is 32 and 64. It's kind of uh, the same when it comes to Belina Etcher. They decide that. You click start download. You download Belina Etcher. In this case, I have mine downloaded, as you see right here. And the second one, you need to download another file, which will be the Zorin OS itself. You go to Zorin.com, which is the official site. I will leave a link for this one as well on the description. That Zorin OS, you can either click download here or just you browse through the site and see what they have. You can be on their uh, newsletter list when they drop new stuff. But first, let's go to download. You choose the, fire, the file you want to download. I myself have the uh, pro version, but it works the same way as when you have the light, which is this one right here for the older computers. You click download free. It's free. And uh, you don't, you can subscribe if you want, but if you don't want to, you can just skip to download and it will start downloading. As you see here, it's 2.4 uh, gigabyte file. I don't need to download it because I have that one as well. And we'll skip this step. We'll put these, uh, sides down first we open Belina Etcher and uh, when Belina Etcher opens you have your file right here uh, you can click flash from file and find it manually but it works as well if you want to just drag your file from here on the software it detects that Zorin OS 64-bit ISO file you click select target now it's time to find your USB that you plugged in. My USB, I know it's the SanDisk Cruiser 3.0, 32 gigs, 31.2 it shows up here, but your USB, most of the time it shows up on first. Make sure you are not doing it to any other USB because you will format the entire drive. But you select your uh, drive that you want to format in, you select, and you start flashing. You click yes when prompted, and you wait for the flashing to begin and it's right in right now the ISO file on your USB drive making it bootable so on the next video this USB that you are preparing today will be very handy just watch for tomorrow's video will be around uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time on how to do the next step after you formatted that made your USB bootable with Zorin OS up with no hands if you're about to go viral. A quick note, when you see this part here validated, do not skip the validation. I repeat, do not skip the validation. At this point, the flashing is complete. Our USB is ready for tomorrow's video. And uh, just a quick note here, your laptop does not need to be an HP and it does not need to be the same year. Just it has to be an older laptop. You can install this on a brand new computer as well. Don't get me wrong. I'm just letting you know that I'm making this, especially for you out there that might need to give a facelift to your laptop, but for free, just a little bit of your time and do it yourself. It's not a rocket science. Wait for tomorrow's video will be uh, up around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the US and uh, you will be ready to have your laptop back in life and back working amazingly again with this 
beautiful operating system. And as always, I hope you learned something. And if you need something further or any extra information regarding this installation, please don't hesitate to comment below and let me know. And if you don't mind to subscribe and like, that would be beautiful, but that's up to you. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.